Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm at the Lime Kiln Trail and we're going to show you the rules of the old Lime Kiln. So stay tuned and we'll uh, head down the path and get right to it. Okay, so this is the Lime Kiln Trail and uh, it's the Flood Lime Kiln. And it says here that it's one of the few remaining examples of a 19th century industrial lime kiln in Canada. It was a important building household chemical used to make mortar, fertilizer, whitewash, plaster, and many other products. So um, I guess in the 1800s, it was what uh, the, the main ingredient for a lot of day-to-day -day, uh, products. And I remember, <clears throat> neighbors barns and, and that were all whitewashed and that was a, a product of uh, the lime from the lime produced uh, in this area here most likely um, so this is uh, an interesting trail we're only going to go as far as the uh, the ruins and uh, I'm also going to show you uh, the uh, big quarry Thomas has uh, kind of carved out a, a hole that could swallow a small city. I googled it on the uh, Google Earth and I got some screenshots and I'll, I'll show that from an aerial view and I'll also try and get some uh, live shots today. It's all right. But here we are at the Lime Kiln Ruins. And this building here, I'll just show you a map of the overall area. And again, it just kind of reiterates the building materials. And there was five buildings at one time. And uh, now there's only one and two and number three. That was the the powder house and that's what they had for storing the black powder uh, that they'd use in the quarry to blast the, the limestone. Let's go a little bit closer and take a look. Didn't do this last time. So it's like filled in here. You can see. Oh, okay, cool. I like a little doorway here. Probably was boarded all up, and they would store all the powder in here, the black powder, for blasting away the limestone. Neat. Oh, chickadee dee 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 dee. There he is. <laughs> there he is, looking for some seed. I guess they would come and land on you. Oh, isn't he cute? There he is. Look at the chickadee. So in closer. There you go. It, uh, the, the lime from the kiln here was used in a lot of building um, products and materials and whitewash and chinking and log cabins, which at one time was really quite, uh, I'm just going to, uh, up here so that's where they used to store the lime after it was finished and this building here that we're coming up to pan from the oh come on from the top here sorry again cheap uh, selfie stick there's the top right there this is where they fired and cook the lime that they mined. And this is going to be an interior shot. Focus, focus, there we go. Uh, it's gonna focus. There it is. So this is circular. They used to put the wood in there and then basically cook the, the lime that they quarried. 
So I'm going to come up here to this path. Well, maybe go around. That's what we'll do. So this was all back from the 1800s. Another shows the so it was Mr. Flood <laughs> that made the uh, the operation the business. So it said Francis Flood built this kiln in the late 1800s on a minimum miniature escarpment of exposed limestone bedrock known as the Hazeldean Fault. Oh, neat. And I didn't realize it until I walked a little further down that in 2012 they had a big fire here. And that's what they're doing. They're cleaning up. This was all closed for most of the winter. So now we're looking at the top. <clears throat> down into where they used to fire and bake the... Uh, the the limestone. You can just see the window down there that we're peeking in. Um, I'm going to come over here and you can see the side of the other building. That's where they used to store all the, the baked finished uh, lime. So again there was five buildings and this is all that's left of it. I kind of came here today because the uh, Greenbelt has a lot of neat hidden stuff in it and it's good. Um, we fed the chickadees over at, uh, there we go, we fed the chickadees over at Jack Pine Trail, we did that video. Here we are through the, through the trees. And apparently I was talking to some people here. Oh, falling down. It's been a long day at work. Um, and they feed the chickadees here as well. So you can bring some bird feed with you and sit down in the peace and tranquility of the ruins. And feed the birds. All right, so I'm going to walk this way a little bit. Well, this is much bigger than I thought. We're right here at my finger. And uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, interconnecting trails here. This trail right here is over by um, the old Richmond Road. This is West Hunt Club. It comes across and then up here and then there's another park at right there. Cool. So technically, I guess, if you did it right, you could walk from here way over to the West Hunt Club. So this is part of the cleanup operation that they were doing all this past winter. Again, in 2012, um, a big forest fire uh, swept through here and uh, really took a, its toll on the, on the forest. further up here. Pardon the wind, sorry. We'll be the starting point of the, uh, the huge quarry. This trail goes alongside of the quarry and in my screenshot of uh, There we go. The great fire of 2012. Neat. So a lot of history. So you'll see through the clearing of the trees there, kind of a wall. And that's what they piled up when they're digging out the pit. So I'm going to go walk along the wall here and uh, get
get to a point where it's not quite so high. Okay, so I found a spot here and I think you should be able to see now the massive hole that's in the ground there. Look at that, eh? Again, I'll do the aerial shot right up here. Look at that. Oh, that's even better. Look at that. Holy moly. See? You just see a truck going up there. Wow. This is the quarry that Tomlinson is, uh, there's a truck going down the hill there. Wow. <laughs> Imagine if that flooded, how much, uh, that would be beyond scuba diving limits. <laughs> I'm recording today on the DJI Pocket 2 and uh, I've got my cell phone attached to the camera and it's giving me a nice big screen so hopefully the video footage will uh, come out super on the computer. Uh, the other footage I shot the other day, again low resolution and uh, it looked horrible on the uh, final project on to YouTube. But it looked great on the screen. So I don't know what I did wrong. I'm using uh, DaVinci Resolve version 17 and I'm still really learning a lot about it. So. Hopefully, each video that we put up on uh, the channel will get better and better, and you guys will like it more and more, and refer to your friends, and we can uh, grow this channel from eight subscribers to... My goal is simple, but it's ten. Ten would be nice, an even number. <laughs> That's only two more subscribers. But, you know, as for the monetary aspect of the channel, I don't, no, I don't care. I just want to do it so that I'm part of the community. I like being called a creator. I do have creative juices. And, uh, I'd really like to uh, be able to do more. So there are a whole bunch of different trails. It's not just one little loop. Wow. This is cool. Maybe it's time to pull the tent out and do the overnighter so we can do the uh, sleepover at the Crown Land. There's about a 20 kilometer bike ride from the house and uh, there's some crown land and uh, I was going to do a, a camp out there but with the COVID and the stay at home orders I don't want to get in trouble like you say you can exercise so that's what we're doing today but <clears throat> This boardwalk is to make it so you can walk over the swamp. And then we're back on the path to the car. We drove the Rondo today. So, yeah, the 360, Insta 362, it's totally waterproof. And a 360 degree picture. So it gives me a lot of creative material to work with. So that 
combined with the DJI that we're using right now, we should put together some real cinema, cinematic, uh, good quality uh, videos. I'd really love to be creative. I miss being creative. And that's why I thought I'd take a risk and uh, see what I could do on the YouTube scene. Not looking for a get-rich-quick scheme, but my challenge is the al algorithms. You know, the, my it's so hard to get people to see your stuff. And if I put up boring stuff and everyone's clicking through it, then it becomes clickbait, right? So I'm going to weed through all of the what I shot today and we'll see what we put into the, uh, the episode. So we've been at the Lime Kiln Trail today and I just wanted to thank you for stopping by the channel and exploring with me. This is my second time out, the first time um, didn't really work out well uh, image and resolution wise. But anyway, um, hopefully you liked uh, today's little tour and excursion. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you real soon with uh, another video. Sorry it's taken so long to get this one up. Again, thank you for coming with us and uh, please like and please subscribe.